Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in this video, we're gonna talk about our recent event widget. So previously in this website, we showed you what featured event widgets are or upcoming event widgets, how to configure them. And this video is all about recent event widgets. So let's open our front end side in a new tab and we're gonna use the sidebar area for the widget. So to get the widget, we're gonna go inside appearance, then widgets. And in here we will find the recent event widget. Uh, it should be right here, okay. And we're gonna add it to the sidebar. So you can add the widget anywhere you like that your themes allows. But just for the demonstration, I'm adding it to the sidebar so we can have a look. So this is the event. Let's drag it over here right below the search box. And as you can see, here we have the title for the widget, the keyword to filter from, the location to filter from, number of listing to show and order. So either it's ascending or descending, right? So this is automatically saved and let's check out the widget by default, how it looks. So this is the widget over here. And as I said in our previous video, we are working on a pagination system for the events over here, right? So let's say uh, we're gonna filter out the locations over here. As you can see, most of the events over here are from Kolkata. So let's go ahead and filter out location to Kolkata and we're gonna save changes. Then we're gonna reload. So as you can see, only two events now are being showed up over here. So these are the filters uh, you can use to filter out your recent events and show them on this widget over here, right? So let's remove this and we're gonna type in a keyword that we can use to filter out events on that widget. So let's say if we type in new year, and save changes and reload and that will let us uh, view the only event that has the keyword newer in it i hope this uh, video or walkthrough over here makes a little sense and you can understand what i'm trying to say here or what configuration you can achieve using this event widgets so that's pretty much actually conclude this video that's how you configure the recent event widget feel free to check our upcoming event widget or featured event videos as well until then, I'm Sharad saying goodbye. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.